If you're already taking minoxidil 2%, 5% or 10%, you are probably wondering whether 15% is going to have even greater results. While it's true that it can improve results, it also comes with an increased risk in side effects. So in this video today, we're going to be comparing the 2% with the 5%, the 10%, the 15%. We're going to be looking at the increased risk in side effects, and then we're going to be coming up with some solutions on how you can combat those side effects. So stay tuned. If you are worried about your hair loss, what you can do is you can click the link in the description and our hair guard specialist will give you a full analysis of your hair. All you've got to do is simply click the link in the description and then upload a hair selfie. So what you're going to learn about today in this video is we're going to talk about what minoxidil is. We're going to look at the different solutions and how they differ from one another. We're going to give you our recommendation of whether or not the use of 15% minoxidil is worth it. We're going to look at the side effects. We're going to talk about where you can buy it. And then we're going to give you some uh, natural alternatives to minoxidil uh, if you're not getting the results that you want. So first, let's look at what minoxidil is. So originally it was developed as an oral medication for the treatment of hypertension and minoxidil is known as a vasodilator. As such, it widens the walls of blood vessels and allows blood to circulate more freely throughout the body. And a side effect that was noticed by scientists was that minoxidil also promoted hair growth, and it led those taking it to have thicker heads of hair. Thus, minoxidil as a hair loss treatment was born. The most common brand name of minoxidil is Rogaine, and many stores including Costco and Walmart now have their own brands of the product too. So now we're going to look at the 2%, the 5%, the 10% and the 15% versions of minoxidil. Minoxidil is a product that comes in various solutions, though only the 2% and 5% are FDA approved for use in hair growth. But what exactly are the differences? Does solution strength really have an effect on results? While 10% and 15% have never been compared to the lower solutions, there have been studies performed which compare 2% minoxidil to 5% minoxidil. These studies give us a bit of insight into how minoxidil works and whether higher solution mean better results. A 2002 study published in the Journal of the American Academy of Dermatology compared the results of 2% and 5% solutions on men with varying degrees of hair loss. The study lasted for 48 weeks and the 393 men were split into three groups. You got a 2%, 5% and placebo. At the beginning of the study, baseline measurements were taken. As the study progressed, measurements were ta then taken every four weeks up until week 32 and then every eight weeks thereafter. These were the results, as you can see on the right here. And throughout the duration of the study, 5% minoxidil performed better than 2% minoxidil for each measurement taken including the total change in hair count from baseline. As no studies have been performed on either 10% or 15% minoxidil, there is no way to definitively state that either solution would be more effective than 5%. However, it's possible to look at the results of the study outlined above and make some assumptions. Some cream versions have become popular because they are believed to penetrate deeper into the skin while still being at low concentrations. So all that being said, is the use of minoxidil 15% recommended? As mentioned above, only minoxidil 2 and 5% are FDA approved for use as a hair loss treatment. This means you'll be unable to find such products over the counter and a prescription will need to be obtained from a physician. However, does this mean that the use of minoxidil is recommended? As stated by Dr. J. Pack, more is not always better. Is it possible to see increased results? Sure, but it usually comes at a price. So, does that mean there's going to be an increased risk in side effects? As with any medication, minoxidil is not risk-free. And preliminary studies show that as a dosage increases, so too does the risk of side effects. A 2004 study that consisted of 381 women compared the side effects associated with 2% 5% minoxidil use. While the results of the study showed that 5% minoxidil use was more effective, it also showed that side effects were more common. A total of 13.7% of participants in the 5% group experienced side effects, 
while 10.3% in the 2% group experienced side effects. Now, while no studies have been performed specifically on 15% minoxidil, it's safe to assume that an increase in dosage means an increase in side effects. Some of these side effects, including itching, burning and flaking, may not seem that bothersome. However, as minoxidil is a vasodilator, you can also experience more dangerous side effects. And these include dizziness, headaches, a drop in blood pressure, and even heart palpitations. So if you are still interested in giving minoxidil 15% a try, this is where you can buy it. So as mentioned, it is possible to get a prescription from a physician. However, many may be wary of prescribing such a high strength. And while you may have seen advertisements for minoxidil 10-15% online, it's best to steer clear of such products. These products aren't regulated, meaning there's no guarantee that you'll be even getting minoxidil. This is a waste of money, but it can also be dangerous. So, if you're on like 2% or 5% and the results aren't enough, what can you do? If you're looking into a 15% minoxidil solution, you may have had poor results with the commonly available over-the-counter dosage of 5%. So if 15% minoxidil isn't recommended, what can you do? Keep in mind that minoxidil only masks the symptoms of hair loss. Once you stop taking it, no matter what solution you used, your symptoms will return. This is why we recommend a natural course of action. Not only will this provide you with hair growth results similar to that of minoxidil, but it will also treat the cause. So if you're looking for short-term results, we recommend you begin by making your own minoxidil treatment at home. The ingredients work by cleansing and moisturizing the scalp and also blocking DHT. However, there is a method you can use that will stop hair loss in its tracks. And how do we know this? Because it's been a major component of Will's own hair growth success. Male pattern baldness is caused by a sensitivity to DHT, a hormone present in all men. And the hormone is produced when 5-alpha reductase attaches to testosterone. Now, whilst the production of DHT is necessary for sexual development, sensitivity to the hormone can mean that even normal levels can trigger hair thinning and balding. So while we don't want to block DHT completely, we do want to ensure that the production stays in check. Now, unfortunately, the modern Western diet plays a large role in the increased production of DHT. This is because 5-alpha reductase works best in an acidic environment and modern foods such as dairy, red meat and alcohol contribute to it. So what can be done? Well, the opposite of acidic is alkaline. We can alkalize our diets and this will make our bodies less hospitable for 5-alpha reductase. Adding alkaline foods to your diet and removing acidic foods isn't as difficult as it seems. There are plenty of delicious and nutritious foods that contribute to your body's alkalization and with a few adjustments you can add them into your regular routine with ease. While a giant diet overhaul would be most effective and that means removing all acidic foods from your diet is not always possible, but just a few small changes here and there can help you be on your way to a head of a full head of healthy hair. To get started, we do recommend making homemade juices and smoothies. They can be easily tailored to fit your needs and they're great for a quick morning breakfast or evening snack. At HairGuard, we've been working on one particular smoothie recipe for years now, and we finally treat it for maximum results as well as maximum flavor. So the ingredients are a cupful of mixed frozen berries, a ripe banana, some hemp and pre-protein tea, two heaped tablespoons, uh, and then a heaped teaspoon of coconut oil, a heaped teaspoon of almond butter, one powdered capsule of faux tea, one count powdered capsule of niacin, one powdered capsule of probiotic, three teaspoons of mixed essential oils, half a teaspoon of mixed of green tea powder, a tablespoon of mixed green powder, and then some coconut water or almond milk to your desired consistency. Now it is a lot of ingredients, but this just means that it's full of vitamins and minerals as well as those that will help to alkalize your bloodstream. Now, minoxidil is a popular hair loss treatment used by thousands of men worldwide. However, sometimes the results from using minoxidil 2% or 5% don't come as quickly as you would like. And this may lead for you to consider higher dosage options. However, we urge you before beginning a higher dose treatment, to give the natural method outlined a try. 
So guys, that's what we wanted to share with you on minoxidil 15%. Again, if you're worried about your own hair loss, make sure to click the link in the description to get your hair guard analysis. And if you've not already subscribed to the channel, please make sure to hit subscribe. We'll see you in the next video.